really quick setup and operation for the coaxial mixing head, which uses two of our Krakatoa tube mixing heads, uh, each one with the tube for the two different materials and the coaxial heated mixing block. So um, this is your internal nozzle. You can see these are going to nest together inside the assembly. You wanna make sure you have your silicone gasket around the base of the nozzle. Make sure it seats down in there. Um, get your tube, one of your feed tubes, and you can, obviously by now you would already have this full of your material, which you can pre-fill by mounting upside down in the head if you need to melt it or you know whatever means you want to do but um so this is going to screw into the top here and seal around the o-ring and the gaskets that are inside your second tube on the other side and again you want to make sure you have your gaskets in there. You don't need to be too tight, but you can give it just a little you know, snug past hand tight if you need to. Put some smooth jaw pliers so you don't damage anything. Okay, now we're going to load the heads in the machine. You either need to make sure your bed is all the way to the left if you're in one of these um, System or 30M machines, or lower the bed enough so you have clearance because we're going to be loading from the bottom. So if necessary, you can push the top up or you can remove the top plastic. Now we're not going to tighten these thumb screws yet because we're going to need a little bit of play when we put the whole assembly together. Okay, and at this point we can put in our outer nozzle. Again, once you make contact with the with the gasket, just snug it down into the gasket to get a good seal. Now to load this, you want to take the caps off the tubes. And then just insert these to the head. Now I'm just snugging my grippers on the gears here. Okay. And I just saw a mistake I made. I put this in backwards because the heaters are coming out the other side. Now you have an option here, depending on the machine that you're printing with. If you are on one of our Hydra machines with the five position yoke, you can put the heater on the right like this. In this case, we're gonna put it on the left because that's the way I installed these heads. And that's, that's up to you and your configuration how you want to do that. This is a three millimeter ball driver, which you should have in your kit. All right, so the, the gib for the heater block is gonna go in the space next to the heads. Make sure the wires are out of the way so they're not gonna snag on anything. All right, once you have all of your heads in all three of the gibs in place, then you can tighten your thumb screws, make sure the whole assembly is secure, and you're ready to start heating. Now keep in mind, when you're using the, all three of these heaters at the same time, this is pretty much maxing out the current that um, the machines are set to handle. So I don't recommend using four heated heads at the same time. But, um, and I just noticed that I forgot something. Put the tube caps back on. So 
as you slide these up in there, just make sure you put the two caps on. You could load the tubes from the top, but I think that's much less convenient. All right, so. I'm gonna tighten the tubes back up. And re-tighten your tube caps. Oh, I'm ready to go. 